Welcome back to the channel. Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, wherever you guys are. Um, today we're doing something a little bit different for you. We're going to create three different videos, not just today, but we're going to give you guys a run through some gentlemen's clubs and a route that you can take. So it, it, it's three different areas. Today we were focusing on the dark side and we're gonna give you around about nine, I think nine or 10 gents clubs that you could attend. We'll put also in the description, we'll give you a, an actual route map of where you can go. We'll give you the links to the individual places. So stick with us and we'll hopefully give you a different view. Now I'm not reviewing the gentlemen's clubs per se. We're not going in, we're not telling up prices. I think it's quite exciting for you guys. If you come in a bunch of guys, go on a sort of day, a lad's day out and you can, Go and experience the clubs. Some you'll enjoy, some you won't. But you know, we just let you know where they are. And to be honest, when we did this research, I'm quite surprised. It was, uh, it was, you know, it was quite, uh, quite a lot of clubs. There's a few. So we're starting here. We're, we're at Lake Maprachan, and we are going to take you to uh, Karamba, which is behind me. Karamba. It is a closed bar. It's. I don't think it's a dedicated gentlemen's club, but it is the same kind of thing in this area. So let's let's. Uh, Let's just take a, take a walk and see, show you guys. As I say, I think I've been in here once, probably about a year ago, something like that. It was okay. There's, they got pool, a few ladies inside. So yeah, pretty similar to what you would expect. It is, as I say, closed off. So you've got air conditioning, etc. Prices, as I recall, were pretty reasonable. So definitely a good start. What I would suggest if you're doing this particular dark side run, uh, I would certainly start here. Um, it's a good good spot to start, as you can maybe see behind me there, a little karam bar, and I will spin the camera around so you can see exactly what it looks like. And just to give you an idea, this is Lake Maprachan. Maprachan straight ahead. I know it's been done by drone before, and I have to say, uh, very pretty to run around. You can run around this, but this is not the point of the video, but uh, it's not very pretty from the drone's point of view, so no point bothering. So guys, as you can see, this is the main road uh, on the dark side. Oh, it's this sort of outer side of the dark side. We're not in the heart of the dark side. That'll be our next stop. So, oh, my new eyebrows, just put my eyebrows down. As I say, there it is for you guys. It's bar number one. Eight more to go. We're gonna be doing nine different gentlemen's clubs today, all on the dark side. So you just pretty much grab yourself a taxi, whiz yourself over here, and then just literally gentleman club hop to each place and then make up your own mind what you enjoy because there'll be a bit of everything. And I'll be honest with you, some of these places I have been to, there's quite a few on here I didn't even know existed until we did this, this research. So I don't, I don't have all the, all the answers for all of the clubs and, and it's kind of not the point anyway. That's for you guys to go and explore and enjoy. So that's number one, Karam Bar. Right, we're already at location number two and it's about, one and a half kilometers from Karam Bar, and this place is called Darksiders Genesis Bar, a gentleman's club I've never been to, I have to admit. So I'm just gonna flip around so you guys can see as we approach it. Here it is. Cool gorilla. Very cool. Oh, nice bin as well. Okay, let's try and get a shot without the bin. Oh, almost got run over. There's someone 
starting work, it seems. Hello! <laughs> and yeah, I, I'm not, I've no idea. I've never been in here, so I cannot comment in any way. But yeah, guys, so this is the main road from where we've just come. We've just come from up there, which is where Lake Maprachan is, and we've come back down the road here. And uh, so, so here we have it. Darksiders, Genesis. Something for you guys to explore. And if you guys have been here, any of you, I haven't, please put some details in the comments below. See, tell me what it was like, what cost of drinks were, anything like that might help guys who are planning on a, a gentleman's day out here, here at Genesis, Darksiders Genesis Bar. So there's another one. Number two, we are now heading off to, I won't tell you yet, but we're heading off to number three. So if you're talking about routing this, you know, it's kind of so easy. You've got Karambar up there, down here to Darksiders Genesis, which is literally one kilometer. It's unbelievably close. I don't know what the next uh, distance is, but as I, I put it into the maps, as I say, we'll, we'll put the map uh, route actually in the description so you guys can have the route there already just copy paste that into your your google maps and it'll show you exactly where to go on to the next one well here we are folks we're now at our third gentleman's club for the deck oops almost fell over there need to watch where you're going this is really tucked away and it's i'm gonna walk you over but let me just whiz around so you sort of see it there. This one, ladies and gentlemen, or gentlemen, depends what you like, is called Azure. So let's uh, see this. I haven't been into this one ever, so cannot comment. If any of you guys have, in fact, been here, leave us a note. Tell us what it's like. There's quite a few motorbikes outside, so I don't know if that's the people working here or, in fact, the uh, customers. So let's have a quick look for you guys. Okay. Across the road here, yeah. Azure. Says their rooms, pieces, and stakes. Yep, a whole new one. Whole new one for me. There's some motorcycles here, so I'm assuming probably customers. Uh, I th I, actually, yeah, that might be the entrance there. I'm not hundreds. That seems to be the oh no, actually it doesn't. There seems to be two. Anyway, <sighs> number three. This, by the way. This was actually three kilometers from the last one, so about seven minutes ride. Now, I think the next one we're going to is around about 300 meters. It's that close. And again, I don't think I've been to that one either. To be honest, I don't spend my life going to gentlemen's clubs anyway, so it shouldn't be a massive surprise. But um, yeah, that's, that should be quite an interesting. It looks it's big. I mean, yeah, definitely big. Let's see. Let's see what we uh, let's see what we get out of this. I'll tell you what. This was a very, very quiet road when we came down here. We were the only bike on it. Okay. The minute we stop, there's bloody mental. It's like becomes a thoroughfare. Madness. Right, we're getting back to the bike now, and the next one is 300 meters. I'm not going to leave my bike here, so I shall most definitely ride there. Yeah, stay tuned, guys. Number four coming up, 300 meters.
Well, that didn't take long at all. It is literally 290 meters. And here we are, folks. This one I have never been to either. This one is called, here we go, you ready to look? Aqua Demi Bar and Food. Aqua Demi. A couple of customers in, that's where you're parking. Let's just have a quick wander up. I think, well, the entrance is ahead here. You can see Sunday's drink day, all beer used to say 59 baht, but uh, that's been crossed out. So who knows how much it actually is. Pizza Fridays, there's a weekly promotion. Ladies night every Saturday. It says there all day ladies drinks 99 baht, but again, that's actually been crossed out. So I'm guessing their prices are either, well, more likely higher than lower. But Jeff, this is it, Aquademi. Again, never heard of it. Right, always cool to learn things. Oh, there you go, beers, happy hour beers, 79 baht. That's Heineken, Leo Chang, San Miguel Light, and Singha. So there you go, that folks is Aquademi. I'll give you a quick run, spin around as to where we kind of are, what area. I don't, honestly, I don't know where I am. I'm a bit lost as it goes. I am definitely a bit lost, but this is it. Back on me again, sorry about that. So yeah, as I say, Aquademi. I can at least tell you that happy hour drinks at 80 baht, which is extremely good. It really is a good price. So, hey, it's worth a try, right? I mean, why not? So that would be your number four, four on the list. And those two are not far apart. So you've got to, I suppose, you've got to have enough, uh, enough, I don't know what it is, willpower, I mean, to, to come in and have a drink and then go to the next one, or because you've got to, you know, everyone's going to offer you something different. So I can't speak for these places. What I have done in the past is kind of what I'm suggesting you do is I do a, a run through just like this. And I would just have one beer, one beer, one beer, one beer, um, just to get through. And that sounds like a lot of beers, but I would tend to drink something like San Miguel Zero, which is only 3%. So, but you know, you guys do whatever you like. If you're running by taxi, it really doesn't matter. So, okay, that's it. We're going on to number five. So this one was 950 meters away, so less than one kilometer. As you can tell, these are all really close together. That's why it makes a good route for a day out. So number five, right behind me here, is the Pussycat Club. I'll spin it around so you guys can have a proper look at what the outside looks like. Here we go. And there it is, guys, the Pussycat Club. It would appear all the way up there is the pink rooms and so forth. So I don't know any details. All it says there, I haven't been to this one either. Uh, free Wi-Fi, free pool, and have some good company. So there you go. I'll get a bit closer for you. I'll walk across the road. So, well, I might, mind you, could be dangerous this. Let's go for it. Okay, here we go. We're just going to whiz across the road here so you get a bit of shot. Proper big bike here. Look at that. Okay. There it is, the Pussycat Club. Me out of the way. And yeah, looks all right. Looks, it looks like just any old closed bar, but any old closed bar. With the difference, as they say. This is it. Okay. We're moving on to now number six for the day. Okay, here we go, bar number six. Now, I've actually just discovered something about bar number six, which I will show you in a minute. And it, this, there's a little clue behind me there. But this, as I say, bar number six is Da, 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 da. There you go, Dalbar. Uh, I have been here before, 
this is actually a nice, quite a nice club, to be honest with you. It, uh, it's got a fantastic, strange thing to say, but it's got fantastic toilets. Really quite modern and it's very uh, glamorous, shall we say. And also, 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 massively important to point out that the drinks in this place are really super cheap. I was, I was quite surprised. I think it was something like 50 or 60 baht for for a beer. Obviously you pay more for, for the lady drink, but yeah, really, really fantastic price. I, I do like this club, I have to be honest with you. Now, the surprise for both of us really is it looks like they're expanding. Who'd have thought? So let me swing it around. Look, there appears to be another one here. Same location. There it is on the corner. Did not see that before. Actually, hold on a minute. No, 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 no. Makes sense now. If I just, you know, went in, in doubt, read the instructions, all that is is basically a sign pointing to a Dow bar there. So they've obviously had an agreement with someone, or maybe it's, I don't know if it's part of the same place, but yeah, it's this is still just the one. It's a reasonable size in size as well, uh, inside as well. And as I say, great toilets. That's <laughs> the strangest thing to like, but honestly, nice in there. That's number six, right, number seven. Oh, by the way, that was, um, I think 2.2 2 kilometers from the last bar, so not massively far. Everything's like one to two kilometers between. So on to the next. Right, here we are at uh, number seven for the day. There's two more to go, but this one is called Heat Lounge. Now. What is interesting to me is, I'm just going to go, it looks like it's closed. Now, unless because it's low season, they've closed sort of, um, or whether they've closed permanently actually, I really don't know, but I'm not aware. And mind you, I haven't been to play, I have been to this one before, but I haven't been here in ages, over a year plus. Um, it seemed quite nice inside. It was relatively new and they had uh, sort of a live band set up as well. So not only did you get a nice air conditioned area, but you also got to, uh, to listen to live music on certain evenings. I I've never been there when live music was playing. Just, I guess it all depends what you want, what you're looking for, you know. But yeah, I always found them very friendly. Not much I can really say bad about the place. It's it's yet another one to, to add to your add to your run. You know your your boys' day out. This, this is all on the dark side. None of this is in the centre of Patia. None of this is in Jomtien. This is just on the dark side. There are going to be two more videos coming up. Uh, one about just the Jomtien night uh, gentlemen's clubs, and then the other will be about Patia as well. Now I'm not covering every single gents club there is because I don't know them all. But we turn to give you sort of, I don't know, eight, nine, 10, something like that for a boys day out. And we, we give you the route map, we'll take you around each one. As I say, I'll tell you what I know about the ones I know about, but there are also quite a few I don't know anything about. Here, drinks were pretty reasonable priced. And you know, the, the standard lady drink 150 baht. So nothing, nothing out of the ordinary here. And well, we got to get back to that little baby without being knocked over. Whoopsie daisy, stand back, stand back. Here comes the cavalry. It's funny. Okay, oh, gross. Just now it's not stopping, I'm going. Right, doing it. Boy, run, 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 run for your life. What's this, number eight? Eight? Yep. Right, we are now at number eight. This was roughly 150 meters from Heat Lounge and aptly named. This is the second place today with the, uh, the name of where we are. And this, ladies and gentlemen, I'll turn around, is called The Dark Side. The Dark Side Gentlemen's Club. I'll try and give you a bit of a spin. And right next to it, the number nine, is Pacha. Right next to that there, Pacha Club. Those are the last two for the day. And I thought it was a very nice finish to consider the two places to stop. And the last one being obviously the name of where we are, the dark side. 
and Pacha Pacha. I have been to the dark side a long time ago. Uh, very average, in my opinion. I've never been to uh, yeah. I've never been to Pacha. This one behind me. I have been to that one there. So, guys, that is eight and nine. That is nine clubs. And then from here, just out of interest, although we're not going to go there, if you head that way a little bit, there's a few rows of bars which are also considered closed bars. So they're not gentlemen's clubs per se, but you know they are uh, friendly clubs, if you like. And as I say, they're closed. They're all um, air conditioned. So I'm going to summarize today. These, these are all within two, three kilometers of each other. It's very easy. Get yourself a bolt taxi, hire a bike, whatever you want to do. Get a bunch of lads together and go on like a, like a bar crawl. But in this particular instance, it's a gentleman's clubs crawl. And, and you know, there's, there'll be something for everyone wherever you go. Prices vary, options vary as would you, you would expect. But as I say, look down in the old description and I'll, we'll put up a, a map route for you. And we'll also sort of indicate where all of these are. And then, the next couple coming up, as I say, there's going to be a run through Jomtien, same idea, and again, also in Patia Central. So we're going to give you a slightly different view of, of like, as I say, it's, it's a guy's day out. It's, it's just a route map. It's where they are, what they're all about. I'm not saying one's good, one's bad, one's the other. If I've been in, obviously, I'll tell you what I've thought about it if I have. But, you know, as you can see, most of today, I haven't been into these places. So it's all, all very, you know, it's new. And, and sometimes that's the better place to go, is just to go and try something out, you know. You're not going to have a bad experience. I just don't actually see that being this, the case. You'll just have an experience, and you know, it's just a good laugh with all the lads, depending on what you're after. But what I like about it is, you know, price of drinks is good. You've got pretty nice company as well, and they're all air conditioned. And I don't, as you can see by the sun, it's mighty hot today. So that's always a welcome sign when you are going sort of pub to pub, if you like. And then this is, I think, just a standard bar here. This isn't a gents club at all. But again, if you just finished it, don't you want something different? This one here, this is 59 bar. Come and have a drink um, just to end the day. But that's, that's far from the end of the day here. So thanks everyone who do, does like these. And please continue to like and share because it helps our algorithm and as you know, blah, 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 blah. You know what I mean? So guys, thanks so much. It's old and new. And we look forward to seeing you on the next one. We are now back at uh, a place we like to come actually, the Lone Star, because um, the drinks are a good price. It's, yeah, um, yeah, like 55 baht for a beer up until 6 p.m. So we thought we'd pop in. We've done quite a long ro road trip today around all the gentlemen's clubs on the dark side. It's been quite fun to do it actually, but it's like 34 degrees at the moment, so it's pretty warm and uh, which is lovely, don't get me wrong, because we've had a lot of rainy days. Not cold days, just a lot of rainy days. So it's quite nice just to see a beautiful sunny day. We have two more videos to do for you guys. We're going to do another one around John Tien. As like I said, a gentleman's like, travel route to show you guys where you can go around just John Tien. I think there's about eight or nine that we've got on that one. And then we've got uh, the third video we're going to do in, in Patia itself. And I can't remember the number of that, but either, either way, they're going to have their own their own route plans. We're going to do exactly the same format as we've done today, so you can see where we're going and where to go. It's just a great, great way to plan a, a day trip. We'll include a full like road trip plan in the comments, in the, in the description below. So you literally just have to press that and it'll give you the whole route, which makes it a lot easier for you guys. So yeah, I hope you enjoy the routes that we're going to have planned for you. And bear in mind, there's a lot more than we're showing you, but we're just trying to give you a few, a few pointers. Please, please, please don't forget to like and share and subscribe because it always helps the algorithm and we need the algorithm to be showing as many people as we can the, the work we're doing. So guys, big cheers and thanks so much for all your support. Cheers.